guys, I am gassed to say the least right now. I'm gonna say less. All I'm gonna say is, I've just received the most exciting delivery that I've probably received in like the last two years. Just watch. I'm legit so gassed right now I could cry. off. Worth it though. Look at the filth on the bottom of my mattress. The amount of tea I'd probably spilled on that. Hello. You're a little bit confused. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Thank god I did my workout before this because no way I would have done it after this. Right, look at the state of me. I need a little break. Almost done, I've just got to put the boards on and the mattress on. So I'm gonna take the pooch for a walk and I'll be back with you. Oh my God, I look so bad. <laughs> it was freezing outside, my fingertips are on fire from the cold. You guys know what I mean. So I'm gonna finish off this bed. Honestly, all I wanna do is just get in the bed once it's done, but I have work to do, unfortunately. But now I have incentive to finish that work. Well, I don't wanna finish it as quickly as possible in, in the sense that it will be shit, but I want to get shit done so I can get in my bed and chill the fuck out. <laughs> Why am I like that? Okay, hello. I've just had the most fun call. I've just had two cocktails and I'm feeling a little bit waved. I cannot lie. I cannot deny. But throughout that phone call, that Zoom call, Microsoft, whatever it is, you know, them, it's like a Zoom call. Um, I received like a ton of Dunelm deliveries. So I got a chair for in my bedroom because obviously I've got the standing desk in the living room. So I moved that chair out there because I don't really like it. So I've got a chair for in here now. Hopefully it will look all right. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm loving it, but it was kind of like a cheap option for the moment because I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money. I don't have that much room in this bedroom. And I also just haven't found like the perfect chair yet. I don't really know what I'm kind of going for um, in here just yet. So I just don't want to spend too much money, but I got a whole load of sheet. I'm so excited. I don't know whether to show it all to you now because I can't put it up yet. And I'm like, do I show you as I put it up or do I show you now and then put it up and show you it up? I don't know what's more more interesting and more fun. But I'm going to I'm going to put the <laughs> Basically, I've got the sausages in the oven and I'm going to make my chair now so that I can actually work in here. I can't remember if I told you already, but this desk is probably going to go. I mean, it was great and all that, but I just don't think it's the vibe, especially not with this bed, which I I am loving, by the way. I cannot even tell you how much I adore this bed. It's actually wild to be sleeping in a bed again. Every morning, well, it's been two nights, and each morning I've woken up and I'm just like, I've had the best sleep of my life, and I'm so comfortable, and it feels weird, like, stepping out of a bed as opposed to, like, pushing myself up off the floor. But yeah, I'm just so insanely grateful, and I cannot believe that I was lucky enough to be gifted this as well. I don't know if I've said, actually, this bed is from Arista Living. It is stunning. Um, you can customise your bed. You basically build the bed um, depending on what you want. So you can choose the headboard, you can choose the texture and colour. You can choose whether it's just like a standard bed or whether it has ottoman storage, which is like a lift up you know when you lift like the mattress bit up and there's storage underneath which is what I got or you can have like drawers and you can pick the bed size I can't remember if I said that or not but honestly I'm obsessed I'm so freaking happy so thank you so much Arista Living and I have to thank you guys because again I would not be lucky enough to have you know to be blessed like this if it wasn't for you guys so 
thank you thank you thank you um but yeah i just went for like the light gray velour velvet and it's got like this kind of chesterfield style i didn't go for anything like too crazy extravagant or like really high i just wanted it to be like really simple and just clean um and i'm obsessed with my decision i'm so happy i did have some second thoughts but now that it's here i'm obsessed with it like i love it so much <laughs> yeah anyway i'm gonna build this chair and then I'm going to have my sausage sandwich and go to bed because I'm tired. And I'm feeling wave. What the hell? Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So we have to ignore all the mess because I'm, like, sorting out my clothes for this week. I'm, like, trying to plan. Or for, like, the next couple of weeks, I'm trying to actually plan my outfits. And, like, anything that I'm not going to wear, put it elsewhere so that my cupboard isn't absolutely ramo. And so that I can just be a bit more organised in my head because I find that difficult. <laughs> I'm going to go get my chair. Can't afford to me shit. I got this. This velvet mink colour. No, are the legs copper? No. The legs are copper. I don't want it. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Oh my god. In the famous words of Valerie. Cocktail you can tell. And you can tell. Um, <laughs> cocktail you can tell. Woo no, mum is... You can definitely <laughs> tell because tail and tell are two different words. Where are my skis or I swear? Story of my life is me not being able to find my freaking scissors even though I've just used them. Every second in a highlight mm. Tasha's TikTok song of the day is that um who is that? Is it Jesse J? But you know the the couples dance I'm just gonna stop talking and build the chair look at the state of me <laughs> oh, mate I'm so weak it's actually a joke yes it's gold it's not copper it's gold it's not copper because I was thinking for my bedroom to make it like a lot more minimal in like a very black and grey but cool kind of way. I definitely just spat. But I think because my bedroom's small, it wouldn't look that good in that kind of industrial vibe. And also because I spend like a lot of time in here and I don't know, it's a bedroom. I just wanted it to be like cosy and comfy. So I'm going for more like girly, not girly, it's still kind of minimalist, but like girly chic Bood not boudoir vibes, but this chair gives me boudoir vibes, you know? Yes, they're gold. Oh my god, they're so pretty. They're like, you know, like that, those cat eye nails. That's kind of what the legs are like, which is kind of strange, but I'm kind of into it. It's okay, Pierre. It's just a chair. You'll see. Well, I definitely just ripped the uh, instructions leaflet as well. Oh my god, I love the colour. Stop it. Stop. It's going to be so comfy. So I wanted a chair that was like, so you know you can get like really cute accent chairs or like armchairs. Obviously I have no room for that in here and it would be kind of purposeless, but I wanted one that kind of gave off that same vibe. And that's why I went for velvet, but the shape of it as well and the size of it, even though it's small. So basically it's meant to be a dining chair, but, um, oh, it's such a nice colour. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've lost my train of thought. See why I think I've got ADD? Anyway, it still gives off that kind of vibe, but just a bit smaller. And it's gonna be really comfy and cozy and like, you know, sometimes when you don't wanna be in your bed, but you still wanna sit in something comfortable. Um, and it'll be really cute to like read in. Although it doesn't have, um, what are they called? Arms. Arms? Armrests? Armrests. Oh look, it's so pretty. So the color it comes in is mink. So it's not gray, it's like, it's almost like a taupey, beigey grey. Like the bed is obviously grey and I really love it but I don't like it when everything is really grey and the carpet is also dark grey which I don't love but like it is what it is that's how it, how the flat came. Um, so I just wanted to have something that was still really neutral but just a bit warmer. It's so pretty. Maybe I'll show you it against the bed so you can see there is a bit of a difference. I'm gonna go check on my sausages. Okay I'm not really sure if it's gonna give you a good representation of the difference but Oh, it does. You see, this is like a bit warmer, but they still complement each other. Oh, this is a vibe. I'm really happy, actually. I was a bit unsure, but actually, this is beautiful. 
And it's going to have a nice bit of back support, hopefully. Get a nice little cushion on there, you know, one of those floofy, floofy ones. Okay, I'm going to build it and just... Sh 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 I'm going to put some music on and just shut sh the volume up. <laughs> it should be pretty straightforward. How do you twerk? Wow. Oh, by the way, oh my god, look at the state of me. I'm going to take my makeup off in a minute. I've just started using this. It came in a PR package along with some other skincare. I have like literally about seven lip balms, but I've lost all of them. It happens periodically and then I find them all and then I lose them all again, all at the same time, which is so annoying. But I've been using this, which is the Skin Proud Everything Balm. I'm not going to lie, it gives me eight hour cream vibes, which is wild. Um, and I'm sure it's a lot more affordable. It's so nice. It's one of those multi, multi-purpose balms, multi-use skin balms. But I've been using it as a lip balm and it honestly is so nice and it smells so good. It feels so good. And it doesn't feel like just a coat of wax over my lips. It actually moisturizes them. I love it. I feel like I'm getting more drunk. I literally had two cocktails and they were small. Whoa. Hey, Bufu, come. There's nothing to be scaled off. so skilled. Yay, good boy. This is such progress, you guys. Usually, if I put my hand out like that, he would have gone straight for it and snapped. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. I feel like this is going to be really quick. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother apologizing for the mess. It is what it is. There's a reason, wow, look at me on that. It is what it is. It's like there's a freaking earthquake going on here. Um, it is what it is. There's a reason it's this messy. I need to find something else to watch on Netflix. I just finished watching White House Farm, which was based on a true story. And it's okay, Bobby. And um, it was kind of wild. I don't think the acting was like A1. It wasn't that great, but I think it was kind of the vibe of the show. Like, I think it was meant to be like that. And also like just the story was wild. I mean, it wasn't wild, but it was wild. Uh, wow. <laughs> it was, I sound like Boris Johnson. Don't go out, but do go out, but don't go out. <laughs> oh God, right. Oh, this is just like my, um, my bar stools. I wish I hadn't got them in pink now. <gasps> oh, Bobby, it's okay. Fuck, I'm so bad. I'm scaring the shit out of him. I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward, to be honest. <sighs> I don't know if the washers are supposed to go on the other side or on this side, but we're going on this side right now because I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's just going to have to do, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, babes? Do you know what I mean, my babes? Tomorrow, this this whole mess, I'm going to shoot the bed and then this is getting tidied up because it's giving me the most anxiety that I cannot deal with it much longer. I hate it. And then I can have a clear vision of the rest of the things that I want to do to my room. I want to get some prints to put above the bed. Maybe some shelves. I think I want to put shelves above the drawers and put prints above the beds. But I need to decide what kind of prints, like what kind of vibe I'm going to go for. Alright, sausage is going strong, but they've got a while to go still, which is a bit of a relief because I want to finish my chair first. Have somewhere cute and nice to sit on. I need to get a bedside table as well, but I just... Right, so basically... <laughs> <laughs> the desk I've gone for is basically just a glass thing like this it's just bent glass and they did have like smaller bent glass kind of three tables one goes on top of the other but I don't know if that'll be too much of the same I don't really know what to do in terms of bedside table vibes so if you guys have any ideas I'll show you my room once it's tidied up a little bit and if you have any ideas for that please let me know because I really I just want to fucking sort it out, do you know what I mean? And I really want to get an iMac. I really want to get like an actual desktop computer. I think it's time now, especially if I want to start, like get back into my YouTube properly. Um, 
it would be nice to just have like a proper little office area kind of thing kind of vibe to sit down at with a big screen to really focus and you know a computer that works properly and doesn't just like friggin freeze every two seconds you know the vibes my laptop's had a good run but i just don't want to kill it off by editing everything on it or like limit my editing because it just takes too long to render on my laptop you know i'm definitely dribbling <laughs> don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it sweetheart this this split so the phone call that I was um, making cocktails on was actually with YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I'm part of the YouTube Black class of 2021, which is so exciting. I'll leave a link if you want to find out a bit more about it, because right now I'm not in the state to even try and tell you guys any more about it. But it was very, very cool. We had a few speakers, including Jamal Edwards from SBTV, which I used to watch religiously to find new music. Um, I discovered Jesse, Jesse J on there years ago and um, he's actually from ENDS which is wild but it was really cool to hear him talk about his journey and then there was a comedian and we learned how to make cocktails and it was just really fun it was a really nice little introductory session and then for the next three weeks now we're basically going to have like master classes on all different aspects of YouTube to kind of help us like maximize our channels and what we're doing and like kind of figure out what direction we want to take our our shit in which is it's just really cool to to finally see um black creators kind of being not prioritized but like having the same opportunities as our counterparts so yeah very very exciting oh she's beautiful i hope it's comfortable i love her this is not really giving you the full picture, but oh hey, it's just me being a queen, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm like this, I don't know. But it needs to stop right now. Okay, well, that that's her, that is she. She is beautiful, I'm very happy. Beautiful color, so nice with the miroir, you know the vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go away now because I'm embarrassing myself and I need to just calm down. Okay, so dad neglected to inform me that there was um, only one slice of bread left after I'd put the sausages in the oven. So I've got half of a sandwich and that's my dinner. That and some plantain chips that I had earlier. Bread tastes like cardboard, but bread is bread, you know. He gets it. Anyway, I'm gonna go before I embarrass myself even further. Bye.